Ähm, also warte mal, ich muss jetzt mal ganz kurz gucken, mit welchem Video. Wir haben wirklich viele Videos. Erstmal, worauf ich richtig Bock habe, ist auf das neue Video von I Did A Thing. I made your worst video ideas. Digga, das ist so eine geile Serie. Das ist eine der unterhaltsamsten Serien, die es gibt. Und er hat wieder Zuschauerideen umgesetzt. Ihr müsst verstehen, das ist einer der unfassbar begabtesten technischen und baumäßigen. Das ist... Lass uns reingehen. Hi, Gott. Wie lange geht der Stream? Lang, lang, lang. So lang, wie du willst. You guys das. keep sending me videos What suggestions, a pistol thing and they're all right, but your method of delivery is very strange. Wait, can you please stop throwing dead birds at my house? It wasn't me. What do you mean? You got a bird? Ow. <laughs> so today, I'm going to make five of your video ideas in the hope okay. that you'll leave me alone. Okay, the first suggestion comes from Coping Molding Truth 43 on Twitter, who wants me to make a pressure washer bidet, which sounds hilarious. Pressure washer bidet? Also ein bidet, weiß ich was es ist. Druckwasser bidet? Hä, was? Also wofür? And will finally allow. Hochdruckreiniger. Hä, wofür braucht man das? Das gibt's doch arms. schon. Warum zeigt das an? So, I'm gonna start with a cheap bidet and a cheap pressure washer. And I'm hoping I can just plug this straight Ach so! <lacht> also quasi das, was die Japaner haben, mit so einem leichten Strahl, aber schön mit Druck hinter. And after turning on the pressure washer and seeing how strong it is. I'm not sticking that in my ass. I decided against that and wanted to see if I could plug the pressure washer. Holy shit, this is nix. And it didn't destroy the bidet like I thought it would. The bidet just didn't let the high pressure water through, which is actually a good thing because otherwise I would have made a hole in my foot. So I'm going to have to upgrade all these crappy plastic parts to high pressure hose. Crazy. I've never actually used a bidet before. Junge, dieser Arsch wird halt wegfliegen have, danach. They work really well and feel a bit like your own personal slave that spits water on your ass. So I'm very excited to try it. Also and after taking apart the bidet and having a proper look inside, I think I'm just gonna have to replace everything as it's all low quality plastic. And the original bidet has two nozzles, one for normal people and the other for women. So I'm only gonna make a one hold nozzle. And I'm gonna oh. do that by just welding a pipe okay. to this high pressure <laughs> <lacht> Which will have this little plunger inside that will move out. Und legit, dieser Typ, ich schwör's auch, Henry, ich weiß ganz genau, dass du es witzig findest, weil, wenn du so ein, wenn du so ein Handwerker wirst, dann wirst, wirst du genau so eine Videos machen wie der Typ. Ich schwör's dir, das passt so hart. As the water pushes it and will then squirt water out of this little hole. And after giving it a quick test, <lacht> it worked really well okay. at low pressure, okay. with no water coming out of the gaps. So, I turned on the pressure washer to see if it would explode. Okay, power washer on. Three, two... Oh my god. And I've now realized oh I've made a big mistake. Oh I purchased god. the wrong fitting, and oh the hose me. is never going to properly attach. So instead of doing the right thing and just buying a new one, I tested my luck by attempting to weld the high-pressure plastic hose directly to the fitting. This is such a dumb idea. Which actually seemed to work, as I was constantly keeping the metal cool. <laughs> so I tested it again. Okay! Okay! And that actually worked really well. Baut deine Duschtoilette ja aber mit high pressure. So, so dass deine Balls wegfliegen. And sprayed the whole thing white. <laughs> and I'm not going to install this on an inside toilet, as I've already made enough holes in the ceiling. So I test fitted oh, it on this oh, chair okay. outside. And it actually feels as nice and comfortable as a normal toilet. Which means it was time to use the bidet. Nein. Nein. And I'm going to test it first on this pig belly, which I've heard makes a really accurate ass substitute. Three, two. 
Holy shit! Digga, da wäre dieser Arsch, wäre einfach jetzt schon offen. And that worked amazingly. The bidet managed to clean all the way through the pig belly, removing the <laughs> fat and meat. This is disgusting. There is, there is meat everywhere. What? I still didn't cut it cleanly in half like I was hoping. So I'm going to give the bidet an easier challenge. This apple. This app. That is so Henry. That is so Henry. That can't you not say. Oha! Oha! Junge, der kann das damit schneiden! What? Okay, das war, das war krass. Das war krass. Das war Nummer 1. Das nächste ist... Knives on a Ceiling Fan. Digga, ein Ventilator, ein, Wand, ein Deckenventilator mit Messern. Okay, the second suggestion comes from Ryan, or as I like to call him, Ryan. And he suggests replacing the <laughs> blades on a ceiling fan with knives. I <laughs> replace all my kitchen knife blades with ceiling fans, which works great. <laughs> but I've never thought of doing it the other way around. So I'm excited. And the first thing I need to get is a ceiling. And then a fan. And this one was a nice cheap one, but it means I need to put it together. So I opened up the box and then got the instructions and put them in the bin. Oh, perfect. And then followed them from there. Perfect. And after connecting the blue wire to the blue wire, the green wire to the green wire, and the brown to the brown, it didn't work. So I skipped using this speed controller and just borrowed a power cable. As a video getting leather, bro. And then connected it directly to the fan, which means the fan only has one speed on. And now that I have a fan that spins, it's machete time. <laughs> oh my god, wirklich der Typ. Der Typ hat so einen Schaden, das ist unglaublich. Holy shit. So I pulled off the er tanzt mit vier Macheten. Then welded a dodgy brace to the machete before attaching them to the fan. And this is already terrifying. But not as terrifying as my inability to count how many blades a fan actually has. And I now have an extra machete. If anyone wants it, it's in this bush. <laughs> right here. Okay, now time to strap this to my ceiling. Wirklich, der, also der Typ ist einfach nur genial. This is terrifying. It's so silent in the air, almost like the blades are so sharp that they are just cutting right through it. Let's chuck some stuff into it. And to do that, I made this little safety fortress. I wasn't really happy with the angle. Da einfach mal Hand reinhalten. Was wird passieren? Gar nichts. I had to throw the fruit at. So I repositioned my fortress right under the fan. So ein geiler Tag heute vorhin noch den Weltrekordmarathon von Eliud Kipchoge am Brandenburger Tor live gesehen und jetzt chill ich Stream schauen im Hotel Jump. Den Weltrekordmarathon von Eliud Kipotge am Brandenburger Tor? Ich kann damit gar nichts anfangen. Crazy auf jeden Fall. Dankeschön für 5 Euro, Fabio. Ich hoffe, du hast einen geilen Tag. Tschüss.
süß. And that was fun Fruit to watch Ninja. while editing, but not fun while I was there. I was imagining my welds snapping and the blade flying out and shooting through my barricade at any moment. But besides that, it did a great job of cutting fruit. 9 out of 10. Boah, also legit, da hätte ich aber auch äh, die ganze Zeit ultra Angst in dieser Nähe von diesem Ventilator zu sein. Das ist ja, das ist ja so creepy. Jack Hammer Pogo Stick. Also ein Pogo Stick sind die Dinger, wo man so drauf hat. Was ist ein Jack Hammer nochmal? Ach so, ein Presslufthammer. Okay. Oh mein Gott. Okay, das ist ein Okay. All right. This comes from Zoe Possum. He wants me to get a Jack Hammer and put a rubber pad on the bottom. Okay. And footholds on the side, creating the world's most terrifying pogo stick. And I already know this is going to scramble my brain, but I can't resist making it. And I'm also killing two birds with one stone, as Ludwig requested I also make a device that can finally help the short fellow jump high enough to dunk. Which <laughs> seems impossible, but I'll give it a shot. So the first thing I did was go to the local store and bought these bolt cutters. Then I waited till night. Was? and went down to the closest construction site and then borrowed this. And I didn't really have a choice of jackhammer, so I grabbed this one, which is very noisy. So noisy. But luckily, I can just put on ear protection. Dude. Es kann nicht sein. Now at the moment, it has this sharp chisel at the bottom, which would be similar to jumping in stilettos. Sexy, but not efficient. So I'm gonna make a giant <laughs> metal foot to increase the surface area. And for reference, I took a photo of my foot. <laughs> that is a very nice foot. Thank you. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then cut out this. And then welded some extra support metal on top so it's strong enough to handle the jackhammer. Then I welded a piece of pipe on the foot so the jackhammer can slip neatly into its new shoe. And the foot is done. But now I just need somewhere to put my feet. And I don't want to permanently attach anything or weld to the jackhammer, as I actually plan to give this back to the construction site once I'm done. So I got a piece of wood and made a hole in it and then put a clamp underneath and a heap of duct tape and kept wrapping it around until I created this horrible mess. What the fuck? And I fixed it. And that's done. So now I just need to turn this terrifying thing on. Das wird sowas von nicht klappen, Digga. my welds and I could re-weld it but there was absolutely no jumping happening and all it did was really hurt my wrists and ankles which didn't even look funny on camera. Zero out of ten. <laughs> okay the final suggestion comes from Hey Jack who so wants me to make solar panel glasses. And his intention here is to blind Just me. Just look at the sun and charge your phone. Me stare into the sun. Which I'm willing to do, as everyone knows there's nothing more entertaining than a blind person. <laughs> now, I could put half transparent solar panels directly over the lens of the sunglasses, which would look more aesthetic, but would be hard to do. 
So instead, I'm just gonna 3D print some sunglasses with mounts on top and then use these tiny solar panels, which I just took from the roof of this tiny house, which I'll mount on top. And I figure this will actually look pretty acceptable as sunglasses, as if people are willing to wear these, which make you look like a pedophile. I'm talking to you, Andrew. <laughs> These don't look bad in comparison. And you know how I just said I'm going to 3D print these glasses? I forgot that I broke my 3D printer by shooting it a couple of videos ago. So instead I used my 2D printer and just printed these out. <laughs> That's so then I cut down this piece of PVC pipe and straightened it with a heat gun and then heated it again so I could mold it perfectly to the shape of the sunglasses. Then I got the tiniest drill bit I'm legally allowed to own and made a hole. And then watch this video on YouTube to see where I threw away those small screws at the beginning of the video. Das kann nicht sein. Das, das, dieser Mensch ist nicht echt. Das, das gibt es gar nicht. And stuck it all together. And a quick spray paint. <laughs> and it's done. So. Now let's say I'm standing in the sun and I'm feeling a little too hot. Idiots would just move to the shade, but all I need to do is attach my little fan to the sunnies and then stare directly into the sun until the fan starts moving, cooling me down. It's also great for charging your phone. All I had to do was swap <laughs> over to this charging port <laughs> and then stare into the sun for two hours to get 1% charge extra on my phone. <laughs> okay, So I'm looking down, no charge. What happen, watch what happens when I look up. Is it doing anything? Yeah, okay, it's making the thing now. Okay. This is just torture. This is horrible. Six out of 10, which means Ryan is the winner with the ceiling machete fan. Ryan, please send me your full name, address, and credit card details, including the CVV, to receive your prize. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Hey, der Typ ist einfach eine Legende, wirklich. Der Typ ist so eine Legende. Das war so ein gutes Video. Da steckt so viel Arbeit drin und so viel Humor, Junge. Das ist sick. Das ist echt richtig gut. Sowas ist auf YouTube Seltenheit, aber wichtig einfach.